I love the outdoors. I love camping, fishing, climbing, I love hiking and everything. But one of my favorite things to do is to watch the sunset. I love to see the sun just set on the horizons as the colors paint the, paint the sky. I love to see the moon rise up as it follows the sun and to, to see the stars start to come out one by one. But one thing I noticed is whenever I was watching the sunset one time, I noticed that the moon literally followed the sun. Wherever it went, it soon follow after the sun set. And then I also noticed that the moon does not produce its own light. It's literally the sun's reflection off of the moon onto the earth. And then the third thing is that the moon is there in the darkest time that we live in, at nighttime, the darkest time that we live. And how many times can we just relate to that? Is, are we living like we're chasing after the sun, the S-O-N sun, the son, of, the son of God, Christ Jesus? Are we chasing after him? Are we wanting his light to reflect off of us and into the world of darkness that we, that we are a light to him? Uh, to, the, to the world? Are we, are we sharing the gospel? Are we reflecting the light and the love that he has for us? Are we showing that to the world? Or are we looking to other sons of sports or girlfriends or boyfriends or popularity or whatever people think of us? Are we looking to that and using whatever they want to think and using that to reflect onto who's ever around us? See, in, in Ephesians 5, 6, um, 5, 6 through 9, it talks about, Do not be fooled by those who try to excuse these sins, for the anger of God will fall on all who disobey him. Do not participate in the things that these people do, for once you were filled full of darkness, but now you have light of the Lord, so live as people of light. For the light within you produces only what is good, what is righteous, what is true. A lot of times we can be we can be fooled that we're thinking that we're living in the light, but we're not. See, we are all full of darkness. We are all full of sin and brokenness. But through Jesus, we can have light into our life, and we can have light that's shining on us, and that we can shine to others. But we can't be fooled by this fake light. We have to know what is true and what is noble and what is good. And the light that is produced in us, the light that from the sun reflecting on us is only good and righteous. And you will be able to love so many people whenever you shine the light from the sun and it reflects off of your heart into the world of brokenness and darkness. You can be a light. In Matthew uh, 5.16, it talks about how you are a light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. See, we are broken creatures. We are flesh. But see, we are crucified with Christ. And it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And so, live this world. Live in it. But do not be of it. Be a light in it. Shine Jesus through your everyday conversations through your everyday actions and through whatever you do, be the light of the world, the city on a hill. Do not be hidden. Be the salt of the earth. Encourage others. Love others around you and show Jesus Christ.